Hi, this is Andy from Aquatic Source for Michigan Pool News. Uh, this month we're talking about chemical storage and proper storage. First thing we want to do is make sure all your chemicals, if they're an oxidizer, you keep anything else that's not an oxidizer or the same chemical separated physically with a, with a gap. All your chemicals should be off the floor on a pallet or on some kind of a storage shelf. Uh, if you have to use a shelving product or a shelving unit, uh, if you have anything that you put over the top of another chemical has to be able to neutralize if it leaks the chemical down below. If you're storing an acid, you'd put a bicarbonate of soda on top, over the top of the next shelf. So if the bag breaks, it would go down on the acid and neutralize the acid. Uh, the other thing is, is any of the empty containers, never leave the powder in it, always rinse it out and dispose of the bucket after it's been thoroughly rinsed out and disposed of. Uh, the other products that we use are another calcium, pro calcium hypochlorite product. This can be stored over the top because it's basically the same product, just a different strength. This Angry Egg is just another calcium hypochlorite product. Uh, liquid products, another one, you want to keep them separated if they're a, uh, an additive or it has an acid base, never put it anywhere near a chlorine-based product because the chemical reaction will happen if they get mixed at, at all. So the biggest thing is keep your chemicals separated, keep them off the floor, and make sure nothing puddles around any of your uh, packaging that is a paper or a cardboard box. This is Andy for Michigan Pool News. Thanks.